Amy B. Orlin. I'm in the ASUG News Studio, sponsored by NTT Data, and I'm joined by Leonardo De Arrojo, Dominic Herzig, and Eric Blondain. Leonardo and Eric are from Beyond Technologies, and Dominic is from Oxea. For years, we've been talking about what HANA can do, and this year, we're finally being able to start talking about what HANA is doing, and that's what we're going to spend a little bit of time talking about right now. So Eric, what are you seeing in terms of what customers are currently doing? What's, what's HANA able to do for a BI project these days? Well, aside from the actual performance we've been talking about for years now, uh, what we're seeing is that just the actual development and coming up with solutions is a lot simpler on with BW on HANA, because we've actually gone live with four customers already, and every time we're impressed by how quick we're able to deliver solutions on it. So what are some of the performance improvements that they're seeing? Give us a sense of that. Well, obviously there's the loading of the data and also running reports that we've talked a lot about. But then afterward, there's a lot less objects you need to create in BW when you have an idea. If you have two critical notions you want to put in your model, you spend time on those two, and the rest you can leave them aside for the time being and deliver a solution that will work right at the onset. Is this really the first use case that you're seeing customers still dip their toes in with? BW on HANA? Yeah, it, it's, it, it seems to be the most popular one to start with. Because obviously BW, you have huge volumes of data. So, and we talk about HANA being very optimized for large volumes. So, most customers who want to try HANA quite often will go with BW first. And then we'll look into ERP and other solutions. But of course this is a product that extends beyond uh, uh, BI capabilities, right? So Leonardo, talk to us a little bit about what you're seeing now beyond the BI suite. Sure, it's really an exciting time right now because HANA reached a level of maturity where we see that in BI uh, use case, customers are already benefiting from that, but we're starting to see the transformation across the rest of the landscape, all the other applications of SAP. So ERP on HANA, big game changer. The ERP that we see today and that we still have is transforming slowly and we're going to see this uh, business suite really leveraging uh, the power of running on HANA. So um, in, in the very, very near future, and we already have reality with ERP on HANA, um, uh, HANA is bringing a lot of value to customers. For example, ERP on HANA, HANA Live gives and addresses a lot of the operational reporting that often customers either had to rely on ABAP or had to go and build more complex BW reporting that for operational purposes is an overkill. So uh, we're starting to see customers really interested in that, and that's the type of discussion we're engaging with customers to say, what can I do with HANA? Sidecar approach, ERP on HANA, uh, CRM on HANA, what are the use, use cases? So it's a dialogue that uh, is very active with this. And we've always sort of talked about the benefits in terms of speed and performance, but are we seeing them extend beyond that now, would you say? Yes, yes, like if you start seeing some blogs, blogs from Hustles and, and, and others, the uh, simplified ERP, and now pointing to the future where CRM could merge with ERP, SCM merge with ERP as well, you're going to have a much m more simplified landscape. Why would you need 12 servers when you could run uh, three or four instead? Uh, you would not have to have all this complicated interface and data replicated across your landscape, while uh, maybe global ATP is a functionality of SCM could be a functionality within ERP. These type of things that are going to simplify a lot of the life of everybody. Would you say we've reached a tipping point where this is actually a reality for customers now? They're really putting this into place? It, it is a reality for ERP on HANA to jump on board and get your suite built on that platform, but the transformation is starting. So now, logistics being rewritten or, or adjusted for the data model optimized for HANA, but now bringing different business suite products together, this is the beginning of it. It's going to be a very, uh, uh, a transition is going to take some time, but we're starting to see benefits right now, and ERP on HANA is there. So speaking of this transition, Dominic, how can customers get there? How can they start? Tell us a little bit of your advice well, here. At Oxford, we've been doing SAP HANA migrations for the past couple of years. We've been doing about 20, 20 HANA migrations for our customers. Um, and in terms of administration, you know, it's we have been doing it for 10 customers that are currently hosted in our data centers. So the way of, of getting there is actually it's a whole process, but what's really important is to be able to support your infrastructure afterwards. So I think that's 
uh, somewhere where Oksha can, can help a lot in the sense that we have this experience of customers that are already on HANA, both on BI and ECC actually. Right. The, past four, uh, the past four migrations that we did were actually ECC on HANA, whereas it's a, new wow. it's a kind of a new product. So you run into you know, a new ways of doing administrations, new patching modes. So if you want to support that, you really need this type of experience to be able to go further and maintain your, your landscape in a proper fashion. Could you call out just a couple of the key skills involved or the key tips or tricks you'd have in, in supporting that infrastructure? Yes, of course. So on top of the uh, traditional SAP basis administration skills that you need to administer any, any SAP system, uh, you would need to have some specific SAP HANA skills just to be able to handle the catch and the patching well and to be able to integrate you know, the, your, your ECC or your BI on the SAP HANA database. Okay. So, and I think that you know, with our relationship with, with Beyond, um, this experience gives us a, a good head start on, on you know, those, those skills that are needed to administrate your SAP on HANA. Right, Beyond Technologies has a, a, a boatload of experience in this field over 15 years and um, really ready to take customers to the next level on HANA. So thank you so much for joining me thank in you. the studio today. Have a great show. Thanks. Thanks for watching our coverage of SAP Tech Ed and Decode. For more customer news, please turn to asug.com and asugnews.com.